So, <clears throat> introduction to uh, Second Life. And I'm going to show you various things about getting going. So, one of the important ones is the camera controls down the bottom here. You can use the middle mouse to scroll all the way in, all the way out. You can use the standard WASD keys for moving around. And you can use the camera controls for turning things around. You can change the preset views to side view, front view, and then back to rear view. And that's that. Close that. You can use the E and the C cut keys to fly and stop flying. You have um, another thing here where you've got run, running mode, walking mode, and flying mode. Um, you can edit your profile, look at people, look at destinations. There's a speak button if you've got a microphone you can attach that to a key to press to talk or it will, can automatically find it you've got a chat that talks to local chat um, you might have to adjust the window size to see it by pulling this little corner or pressing this little button and um, anyone around I don't know I think about 20 yards I think here's the chat so if you want to keep it private you need to um, click the profile up the top or go to communicate and friends find people and whisper to them and you do that by selecting right click and IM and that allows you to add a friend tele offer to teleport them or just talk to them privately um, just close that close that what else have we got? We've got camera for taking pictures. Uh, we've got a mini map for showing people who's there. We've got voice settings to see if anyone's got voice set up. We've got landmarks, places to save, and that's quite important. And you have the URL up here, which is an SL URL, Second Life URL, which allows you to add favorites by clicking the green star so you can find places again. And you'd find them by going here and then double clicking the one you're interested in to teleport you also get a teleport history which tells you where you've been um, and then you have a search where you can search for jobs or um, anything you like really uh, then you have ob your inventory and you've got your inventory of the things you've got plus the library which has got lots and lots of free things that are worth checking out uh, you should have lots of different kind of um, avatars to play with if you want to change shape and stuff and clothing, current outfit, things like that and <clears throat> also if someone gives you something you can check the recent tab to see what you've been given recently and in a minute I'm going to show you how to get something if someone gives you uh, a gift how to res it and pick it up you've also got appearance uh, where you can edit the various types of appearance that you've got. Um, if I go back to my outfits, um, you can edit various things. You can edit the face, you can edit the, the skin, uh, you can edit the shape, make people bigger and smaller. You do that by right click and uh, edit. but you can also use this um, edit this outfit thing up here and then you can change edit anything that will allow you to edit and I'm going to get out of that um, <clears throat> one of the things you can do is as you're editing your appearance you can save it as a new uh, name so you could save it as Mail City Outfit Mark 2 and that allows you to go back if you make a mistake or anything. You've got various things that are being worn which you can change and remove by clicking on them and take off. 
and that's your appearance. You can spend a lot of time sorting out your appearance. You can hit the camera controls and you can wander around like that. Um, you can choose a different avatar if you like. Um, you have the avatar button. And we'll close that. So those are all the main uh, buttons here. Let's go over them again. Uh, you've got a choose of avatar appearance and changing it. And you can save it sequentially as different numbers. You've got inventory and objects. And you've got recent tab for anything that's been given to you recently. You've got a search, which allows you to search uh, for things. Events, destinations kind of like uh, an SL Google. Then you've got landmarks and a teleport history which is useful. Uh, you've got sound effects to check if anyone's got listening around the microphones. Uh, you've got a mini map showing where people are. You've got a camera for taking pictures. Um, you've got the chat box here. You've got the microphone speak button. You've got destinations which gives you the most popular destinations what's hot now, where lots of people are, um, featured events, editors picks, newcomer friendly, international, um, chat hotspots, clubs, adventure fantasy, beaches, romantic, adult, premium. Premium is only available for people who've got a subscription. Uh, that's that one. Uh, people and that's you've got a nearby tab telling you who's nearby you've got friends, groups, and groups are good for um, communicating with people and recent. Then we've got uh, the walk and run tab, we've got the profile tab which you can edit and put pictures in and say, uh, put links to YouTube videos and things and command <coughs> camera controls. So there's some of the basics. Um, one of the things uh, that initially happens is that uh, you might want to have some animations and they're called AOs. This is called an avatar and the animations for them are called AOs. So I'm going to show you how to put uh, an animation which is him moving about a bit when he's at rest. So I'll do that right now. <coughs> So with my main is going to give him uh, an animation. Right, <coughs> so Inglorious Decap has given you an object, basically Boy AO. So I'm going to show it, and it shows it's turned up, and it's in its objects. But I could also check in Recent and Objects. I've got two of them. Oh well. So I right click and wear it, and I put a box on my uh, hand. That's not the way to do it, is it? So um, detach from myself, and so I drag it onto the ground. And this is a sandbox area, so I'm allowed to do that. In many places, when you try and drag things out of your inventory onto the ground, it's not going to work. So that allows me to right-click and open. And then inside is a proper animation. And I copy that to my inventory, or I could copy it and wear it. Uh, I'll copy it to my inventory, I guess. Okay, close that. Here's the AO, and that's the animation. So let's try and wear that. And now I have a, an animation of him moving around and walking and crossing his arms and doing all sorts of things. <coughs> this has a bit of a performance overhead, so if you're in a place with lots and lots of people, it's not really worth it. But uh, 
it does help give a bit more life to a um, avatar so if I collect, select that you should always delete things once you've res them otherwise they get put back into your um, inventory eventually anyway and people don't like boxes being left alone so it's good manners to delete anything that you do create and um, that's the animation if you fed up with having him animated you can always right click and detach it and you can wear it whenever you feel like so that was getting an object from someone else accepting it resing it on the ground and then taking it uh, opening it the box and taking out the goodies within it and that was an AO and that was an animation okay cracking on the next thing is let's do a little bit of building so I'm going to build and I'm going to build a cube and that was by going to the build and clicking build and here we have a cube I'm going to stretch it a bit uh, I've got people talking to me up here and um, So we've got the object, we can add a texture, um, that's the wood one, um, click on it, and in the library we've got lots of things, let's just have a beautiful day maybe, okay, is that going to work, and it's tessellated a little pictures on the box, um, there's all sorts of things you can use instead of that, and you've got different mappings, if I do one by one, that gets one picture should be one picture per box um, one by well you can change it one by one by it's a bit of an art to it and you can flip it um, something that I've been playing with is when you're trying to make a room um, you can change the object and you can hollow out the object to 95 percent and if I do that that should mean that we've made a hollow box instead of a solid one and if I try and select the object and edit it again right click and edit and change that hollow you can see you can change the amount of hollow in it and the other thing you can do is something called path cut which allows you to cut a little door in the way so people can get in and out of it let's stop flying again and I'm inside the box can I get out of the box uh, and that's uh, one prim or one primitive so it's very low in terms of uh, footprint and edit it and you can move it by clicking on the arrows and moving it along and that's how to create a box hollow it out and stick a, a, an opening in it so people can get in and out of it you could always put windows in there and things like that uh, and you can stretch it by changing it to stretch and you can do all sorts of things uh, and that's how you uh, basic um, building thing which uh, I will probably put some links in for more advanced tutorials on that so let's uh, delete that it's gone and close that and that was an access from the build uh, for control B and let's put the using W and S A and D to move around and bring up the inventory recent and let's wear that animation again so I'm going to wear it and there he is he's kind of being a bit slouchy and casual 
which is all well and good if you're wearing casual gear but he's wearing a suit so it doesn't really work and uh, bring up the camera controls from around the bottom and turn it round so you can see him scratching his head and that's a basic introduction to Second Life up on the top here there is a world map and this gives you an idea of just how big Second Life is unlike any other virtual world you've been in this is user generated content and there is an awful lot of it every one of these pixels is someone else's uh, work of genius uh, piece of land uh, and it's uh, massive so it'd be very hard to to map it it's a, a lot like a 3d internet so to find anything you really have to use the search facilities and close that and to find the search facilities you use this search thing on the side here and teleport off to somewhere else on the top right hand corner of people trying to talk to you and you click on them and it gives you um, their little profile and you can offer to teleport them to you and various other things look at their profile and stuff like that So I hope you've enjoyed this video and see you on the next one.